Hi there, this is Izzy, and it's time for a little bit of division. This orchid has been a mess for quite some time. What is it? I'm not actually sure. I mean, the person who sold it to me didn't even say it was an orchid, but I'm reasonably sure that it's an insidium twinkle. Um, no guarantees on that, but, you know, the flowers come out like twinkle flowers. This orchid was severely dehydrated when I got it. The pseudo bowls were crisp, almost crispy thin. They look like little wrinkled up quavers, but now they have plumped up massively. It's done really well. And part of the reason for that was sticking it in sphagnum moss and actually watering it. But that has led to a little bit of a problem. I've got a bit of a proliferation of growth. There's new growth here, there's new growth here, there's new growth here, there's new growth in the centre. It's growing everywhere. And what does that tell me? This orchid's got loads of directions of growth and it's quite possibly turned into several orchids by now. It's clearly got too many orchids in there for it to be happy long term. So I'm going to divide it up as best I can, try and split this into several orchids so that each individual orchid can have lots of growing space. I've got a few pots and I've got a bit of cinnamon and some scissors. So time to get cracking. Right, considering how much growth there is on the top of this orchid, I don't think there's that many roots. It looks like a lot, but if we start to pull away at them, then it looks like the velamen comes off the majority and we're just left with the dead centre. So I think a lot of these roots might actually not be very healthy, but it's going to take me a really long time to distinguish between all these very fine roots. And ultimately, I don't think it's going to make much difference to the success of this orchid if I remove them or not. It's certainly one that likes moisture. So the only thing would be if this causes rot. And if I'm totally honest, I think it's all this stuff at the top that's more likely to cause it rot. So let's take a look. This is a bit wobbly. That might come off. Looks like it wobbles there. So maybe that's one cut point. There's a good clump of new growth here, which makes me think that possibly there's another cut point around this area, around that bulb perhaps. And it appears that we need to free up this direction of growth here for something. So, well, why don't we just do that one? Is there somewhere I can cut? Maybe, or maybe I can just... Pull them apart. One orchid. Two more orchids. Do we want to split this one up? I think we do. Kind of looks like there's new growth on both sides of this front which means this is two orchids heading in the same direction so i'll split these finding it quite telling that most of the time these are just pulling apart as well and not actually having to make any cuts through a rhizome here i've got a directional growth coming off this side of this one and a direction of growth coming off this side of this one. I'm not heading for a clash in the centre there. So I'm going to leave these two together and just try and pull off any dead growth. Now, why am I pulling off this dead growth? Well, basically, all these old sheaths are just compacting down into the centre of this plant, hanging around around these roots. And I think that's not good for the health of this plant and for these roots. So if I can remove these sheaths, they're not going to tamp down into that old medium, not going to get rotten down there, and that will be good. So, so far that one plant turned into five, which I'm going to pot as four plants. 
Um, I haven't used the cinnamon yet, but I haven't had to. The plant's just pulled apart. Um, perhaps the rhizome between the pseudobulbs is quite weak, or perhaps there were just so many different plants in the first place. Um, so we'll get rid of the cinnamon and now choose what to pot them up in. So they were originally potted in sphagnum moss and I'm not entirely sure if they took very well to it. I will pot two of them in sphagnum moss, but the other two I'm going to pot into a new medium that I have that I just bought by accident actually, which is a mixture of very fine bark pieces and ceramic. Ceramics is new for me. I really don't normally mix bark and inorganic media, but truth be told, I thought I was just buying bark and I picked up the wrong bag. So we'll have two in each kind of media. Well, interestingly for me, one of my orchids turned into four different orchids today. Technically five. This is two orchids. I've also split them into two different camps, one who's got the original medium of sphagnum moss and the other one who's got this interesting fine bark and perlite mix. Sorry, not perlite, ceramis. And we'll see actually which type of medium this orchid prefers. I'm really hoping that these do well because I'd like to see the flowers again, they're very sweet. But if it doesn't, hey, there's four of them, at least one of them's got to survive, hasn't it? That's it from me this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please do give it a like. If you would like to hear more, just subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.